Hey, happy Saturday. And thank you for coming back to This Week in Rideshare News. This week we're doing This Week in Food Delivery News. Anyway, Instacart drivers say that some customers are leaving large tips and then changing it to zero after delivery. Now this is called tip bait and many Instacart drivers say they've gone through this before, but a lot more since this pandemic started. And they simply just want it to stop. Okay. Now when a customer submits an order, they have three days to change their tip. It's designed to give them enough time to assess if the driver did a good job or not. And if they did a good job, they should get a tip. But in this case, a lot of drivers are being penalized. Now Instacart knows this is going on and they say that customers should do the right thing, but there has been no word on any plans to change the tip feature at this time. Sorry guys. Grubhub, which also owns another popular company, Seamless, is reportedly looking to sell to one of its competitors, Uber Eats. According to the Wall Street Journal, the deal would double Uber's market share, allowing Uber to service over half of the food delivery market and position it next to or possibly surpassing DoorDash. Now, speaking of DoorDash, Michael Huff, a DoorDash driver, donated $60 to a local hospital staff for lunch at his favorite place, Buffalo Wild Wings. In turn, Buffalo Wild Wings did this. I'll tell you about the hashtag good news of DoorDash delivery driver Michael Huff. Michael donated a $60 tip he received while delivering food to a patient at TriStar Greenview Regional Hospital. Buffalo Wild Wings corporate office contacted 13 News reporter Brandon Jarrett about giving Michael a call. It's a call Michael says that led to an email he thought was a mistake. And after I got off the phone with her, a few minutes later, I ended up getting an email come across my phone. So I opened my email up, and I seen it was a gift card, and I really thought that she made a mistake. She sent me a $250 gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. I literally just sat down on the bed and started crying. It was just like a warm grace feeling that come over top of me of just very happiness and that you know all the years that you you know help someone out you don't really expect anything back least to 13 news they say quote we love all our fans and are extremely grateful for loyal guests like michael he generously paid his tip forward in the form of wings so we hooked him up with a wing delivery of his own we're excited to partner with Michael in the coming weeks to continue Buffalo Wild Wings deliveries to the hospital. It is really good to know that people are still being rewarded for being good. DoorDash and Caviar have made a few notable updates to their COVID-19 financial assistance policies. The companies will provide assistance to those that have been on the platform for only 30 days now. A previous policy required that you be on the platform for 60 days. They will also offer what they call Doctor On Demand. It's a subsidized program that offers assistance for US-based dashers and couriers. They'll be able to access discounted virtual urgent care visits and referrals for COVID-19 medical testing. Now that some states are moving through phase one and phase two of reopening, you should see a lot of changes, especially because lawmakers are getting involved with food delivery. Here's what's going on currently. Restaurants are asking patrons to pick up their food instead of using delivery services. Several states are in the process of capping delivery fees, limiting it to only 10 to 15% across the country. LA, New York City, St. Louis, Jersey City are already putting these changes in effect. So expect to see it somewhere near you soon. Some food apps are actually firing back by making up these surcharges to make up for the difference in the lowered fees. Soon, food delivery apps will have to disclose all the fees to the customer. So I'm hoping that the customer will be able to see how much the driver has to pay to be on the platform and how much they make as well. Ultimately, this boom that we've been experiencing in delivery will subside. So stay abreast of what's going on in your city. Listen to the news, guys. NPR is where I get my news. Join a local Facebook forum and definitely, definitely prepare for when the demand goes down. My name is Cecily and you can find my videos here each and every Saturday. If you've heard anything you like, please hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions for me, you can hit me on my channel, Drive Drill Drive on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks again and have a blessed weekend. Bye.